I was an aspiring writer and I saw the submission call for Boston in 100 words and I knew I just had the perfect stories. I used to go to this little place in Chinatown where I would buy a sandwich. Um, I just, I had to write that story. Ban Mi in Chinatown. It's a hole in the wall on Harrison Street where she used to buy her food before her class. Nothing has changed. The most expensive sandwich still costs $4.50. Cold cuts on toasted baguette with pate, a stick of cucumber, shredded carrots. She asks, no fish sauce, a sprinkle of chopped jalapeno and please cut it in half. She'll make it into two meals. As she waits, she drops a dollar bill in a plastic cup next to the cash register. On the shelf behind the counter, Chai Sutton, the god of fortune, draped in a coat of grime, stares into eternity. I chose to do Boston in 100 Words because there's so many writing competitions, but Boston in 100 Words, it's like specifically for people in Boston and for the community. Graduation. The day I graduated eighth grade was my fourth year living in Massachusetts. I had hoped I'd feel like a girl stomping into big shoes and fighting for rights like everyone around me. The sun was warm on my green dress, stable ground beneath my Mary Janes. The school was packed, as if the whole neighborhood came, as if we were a family. Some people cried, and we all cheered for everyone who went across the stage. But even as the neighborhood cheered for me, I still felt like a little girl in shoes that were too big. I love Boston. I love the din and the bustle and the quiet weight of hundreds of years of history. But sometimes it gets too big and too loud until I remember that all I have to do is to take a bite-sized chunk out of it and to make it my own. To take a few quiet moments, a few quiet sights or interactions and realize that I'm home. Jellies in the Charles. The din of traffic rumbling over the Charlestown Bridge rudely intruded into my lunch. But the breeze was cool off the Charles and I could see the masts on old Ironsides just across the water. I leaned on the harbor walk railing, exhaled, and let my focus go soft. Looking down to lazily crumble my leftover sandwich crust into the water, I I realized there wasn't just traffic on the bridge. Hundreds of moon jellyfish pulsed just under the silver, rippled surface, drifting slowly, steadily to the ocean. Dime to foot diameter creatures trailing ragged strings thrummed in a quiet, ordered chaos. My name is Chandre Lahiri. My name is Christine Chen. My name is Haver Montgomery. And I love Boston. And I love Boston. And I love Boston. 100, 100 words. 100 words, 100 words at a time. time.